What up guys, it's Jay here from TV Time with Jay, and I am back once again with another review for you guys, and this time I'm here to review The Good Doctor Season 4 Episode 2 Frontline Part 2. Now as per usual with my episode reviews, I'll be recapping the event of the episode and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, do yourself a favor, watch the episode first, then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below because I will be going into spoiler territory, you have been warned. Okay, so I'm gonna be real with you guys. This episode really got me. It had me in tears by the end, and uh, it hit super close to home. And, you know, I'm sure it did for a lot of you guys, because, like, this year has been hell. You know, aside from all the, you know, political BS, just this whole pandemic situation has been hell for everybody. Um, especially for those of us who've had relatives who were sick during the pandemic, whether they themselves, you know, got COVID or already had pre-existing conditions that were, you know, exacerbated by, you know, all these circumstances. And, you know, uh, the particular scenes in this episode with all the different families on FaceTime saying goodbye to their loved ones, um, and especially, you know, at the end with the one nurse who, you know, was friends with both Resnick and Lim and, you know, has appeared in several episodes, you know, as a background character all throughout the show so far. Well, uh, you know, obviously, you know, she and Resnick were both exposed because of that, you know, one elderly patient and, you know, Claire ended up getting cleared, but uh, this nurse, unfortunately did you know contract covid and eventually it just got worse and worse up to the point where you know her son had to say goodbye over facetime and um yeah it really hit close to home for me because you know a few months ago my uh, godmother actually uh, passed away um, not from COVID. She already had a pre-existing condition. She was on and off dialysis for the, you know, last few months of her life, right? But um, she had planned to, like, take a trip home, like, here and, uh, you know, visit everybody, you know, say, uh, say, you know, what's up, catch up with people, eat good food, you know, celebrate, even if we were in these, you know, troubled times she wanted to at least you know spend whatever time she had left with her family and you know there was a point where she had you know gotten sick again and it had gotten really bad and we had gotten a phone call saying you know that they're gonna unplug her from life support and so we sat there on zoom for almost an entire day like several hours just kind of sitting there you know saying our last goodbyes and all that and uh, it was one of the hardest it was one of the hardest times I've ever had to go through and I'm actually like really really trying not to cry on camera just thinking about it but like seeing kind of the helplessness right from these people as they're you know saying goodbye to the people that they love and you know not being able to be there because of this disease this whole you know theme of helplessness all throughout the episode it it really hit home man it it, it broke my heart it made me you know feel those same feelings i had in those moments you know where we had to say goodbye and i'm sure there have been so many other people, you know, watching this video and otherwise who've also had to, you know, say goodbye to people that they love and people that they care about. And, oh man, I would never wish that pain on anyone. But my God, like this episode really hit that home. Of course, you know, with Claire's plot line, she is trying to basically find closure for other people because she was unable to find closure for herself with Melendez. And I understand that, you know, closure is very important. Again, you know, we've all experienced loss and we all deal with loss in different ways. But I think Melendez's ghost really hit the nail on the head, at least 
this time she can actually confront, you know, her grief and face it head on instead of trying to run away f uh, from it. She tried to run away the first time when her mother died, but this time she has people who also knew Melendez, who are also grieving, that can also help support her. And, you know, that's the thing that we all need right now. You know what I'm saying? We need support. And it sounds super cheesy and cliche, but I think, especially in times like these, all people really need to know is that they're not alone. And, man, that moment when Resnick, you know, revealed, you know, a lot of the staff, like, looking outside of the nurse's, you know, room, you know, wishing her well and being like, you know, you're not alone, you're not going to be alone, it's just... Oh my god, that shit just, it broke my heart, man. It, it, it broke my heart all at the same time warming it. And of course, you know, Sean dealing with the pandemic and also kind of his own fears and anxieties about like, you know, possibly giving it to Leah and, you know, Leah's own safety and concerns like that. Um, it's also, it's pretty scary for him because, you know, obviously he is used to exact routine and regimen you know that's how he likes things he likes things in an exact order in control and this is a very unpredictable situation so of course sean is completely thrown off his groove he's frustrated he ends up lashing out when a patient's wife lashes out at him and then eventually uh she comes to realize after you know she thanks him uh you know for you know reporting the bad news but at least telling her that her husband's still alive. Like, that's what people need. They just need re reassurance that at least, you know, their loved ones are here and they're still here right now. And man, Park reuniting the mother with her baby and that like little split moment where the mother blinked in response to her baby's touch. Oh my God, this episode was a huge tear factory. I don't know why I like hesitated there, but like, oh man. Just absolutely fantastic, amazing performances. I am just so emotionally invested. Honestly, out of every show that I've watched so far that has a like coronavirus-related storyline or plotline going on, The Good Doctor has just been knocking it out of the park. It feels so real. It, it's almost visceral, man. Like again, I have family that works in the medical field i've heard all these stories but to see this play out to see all these trials and tribulations and just how tough things are for these people and all the work they do just to still feel helpless at the end of the day it's just oh i can all keep saying it but it's heartbreaking and it's the worst part is that this isn't just a tv show man this is real this is actually happening and it's just Wow, I can't even put it into words. I know a lot of this was incoherent rambling and like me almost bursting into tears, but I, uh, I hope you guys still enjoyed this episode. Feel free to share any stories you have, you know, going through this time in the pandemic, um, you know, how this show kind of relates to you, uh, your thoughts and feels on the episode. Let me know all those thoughts and feels in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I promise, like, I'm not going to always be a Debbie Downer in these videos, but these episodes, at least for The Good Doctor, have just been so real, man. They've been way too real, but in the best way possible. But yeah, uh, you know, do the usual YouTube things. If you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. In the outro card, I will leave links to my review of the last episode of The Good Doctor, you know, Frontline Part 1, in case you missed that and you want to check that out and hear my thoughts on that episode. And I will leave link to a video YouTube mysterious algorithm things you might like, which I hope you do. But until next time, guys, this is Jay from TV Time with Jay, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. It's time for me to scrub out. Peace. <laughs>